Well, hello everybody, and welcome to this episode of Cheap Bears Off Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And uh, yeah, sun just set. I was hoping to be able to cut, get out here in time to catch it as it was setting because it was glowing like the morning sun, uh, just red and barely visible in the sky because of all that, that smoke up there. So yeah, there's still a lot of smoke around here, but uh, and visibility is at about uh, seven to nine miles now. So these winds have cleared a lot of it out. They're coming out of the north right now. So um, don't know what that's doing for uh, people down there in Orange County and all of that. I bet it's getting pretty thick down there. But um, today the heat wave was gone. It was only 87 degrees for a high today. And I got some work done. Just finished... Uh, closing things up a little bit here I still got one more to close up but I want to give some oats to the chickens before I um, lock that up so we're gonna move on and uh, the winds of course uh, blew that shelving over but it isn't moving from there so I figured I'll just leave it there if I stand it up it'll get blown over again and uh, they're letting up a little bit now the winds aren't as strong as they were but uh, I want to show you what I did get done today uh, because uh, I did promise I was going to do some work today instead of being a lazy bear. And you know me, I, I, don't, like, I don't like being lazy. Anyway, um, yeah, I got the uh, battery room open because uh, by uh, this afternoon I had my panels up. Got my rack in place, got my panels installed, and here we go around the other side so you can see them. And there's a uh, 4 times 305 or 1220 watts. So, right now, only two of these are connected, and they're connected one going to one of my old controllers and one going to another old controller i couldn't i can't um series them right now because i don't have any controllers that will handle uh, that much voltage and that much wattage so remember each one of these is going to be uh a lot more i'm not, I'm not going to go into numbers right now but it's going to be a lot more than what that was. All of these old panels are less than what was coming out of here. Okay, so when I do hook these up, it'll be two strings, two and two. So the, the uh, panels will be hooked in series, two together and two together, and then paralleled from there into a single controller inside of the uh, battery room. And that'll give me... Uh, the power I want. Now I didn't have any turnbuckles for the um, guy guy wires or the cables that go on here, but I did hook them up anyway to help st sturdy this thing. But with the two poles, great sturdiness really holds things together, and everything is welded except for I didn't put the tack welds on the bolts yet. That's uh, tomorrow's job, and uh, uh, those braces are bolted in so they could be. Um, adjusted but I've got to drill um, two more holes in them so when I lower them down to the winter angle because the Sun is a lot further in the southern sky at that in the winter time when I lower them down to the winter angle then I'll uh, have those holes drilled and notice that they they are right in the same angle plane as my old panels for right now at this time of year and usually it's just before the time change um, probably a week before the time change, which comes on November 1st this year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that's when I will um, lower these down to the other angles. And uh, I'll, I'll drill those holes at that t point because I have to take it apart anyway and lower them down into position where they go. And then I can mark them and just drill drill two holes through the, um, the supports and... Uh, that's it. Put the bolts back in. Take me a matter of a couple of minutes with a, um, a socket attachment on my screw gun. 
I just uh, zip those two bolts out and zip them back in again. Uh, glad this is done. I'm glad it's uh, it was windy as heck today. I was I was dealing with this in 18 to 20 mile an hour winds, and uh, I had to be careful when I was putting the panels up that they didn't get away from me in those winds. And then I'd uh, fasten them down real quick so that the winds wouldn't blow them out of place. And then before I connected them, I took a shipping blanket and threw it over the tops of them. And uh, then I made my connections. Uh, that way I don't have to worry about uh, blowing any caps out of my controllers. Uh, you don't ever want to hook up um, solar panels while they're under load. Uh, you always, uh, of course, I've, I've said this before, on your controllers, you always hook up your batteries first. And uh, that de that tells the controller what battery voltage your battery banks are. And then you hook up the solar panels secondly. And uh, you want to do that with, into a controller that's going to be able to handle the voltage and amps and all of that that you're going to be getting out of your panels. So that's... Uh, where we stand for the day, uh, I'm going to go get some oats and toss them into the chickens. They might even all be inside the coop by now. But, uh, yep, just uh, my neighbor stopped by a little while ago, and we had a little chat and uh, um, had a couple of cold ones while we were talking. And, uh, and then we went out, and I found that there was a couple more eggs in the coop, so I brought those inside, too. So, that's nice. Uh, you know, have a couple of eggs in the morning and then go get a couple more out of the coop in the afternoon. What a great thing. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me on this episode. I'll be talking to you soon. Oh, beautiful. Some guy decided he wanted to tear up the road a little bit, so he just shot down there and kicked up a rooster tail of dust. Wonderful. Oh, and there's another one coming into my road. Interesting. All right. Anyway, that's how the world goes, right? So I got a few things done. So I'm glad that that's done. See what I can get done tomorrow. See what the uh, weather is going to be like, what the temperature is going to be like. And uh, we'll go from there. I will be sure to keep you posted. This is G-Bear thanking you for joining me and signing off.